All right, before we get any further into this video, I want to give a huge shout out to PUBG Mobile. I want to thank them for sponsoring today's video. All right, so PUBG Mobile just released a huge update with 1.7, and probably the biggest thing is the PUBG Mobile and Arcane collaboration. And now with any big collaboration, there's always going to be a lot of special events coming up. So the first thing I want to tell you guys is you guys will be able to have the opportunity to play with me on November 29th at 6.30 p.m. Pacific time on the official PUBG Mobile live streams. And those matches will be hosted and casted by your favorite content creators from PUBG Mobile and League of Legends. Make sure you check out in the description below for the Mirror World Assault live stream schedule. All right, but that's not all. We also got the sweepstakes. Make sure you enter the Mirror World Assault sweepstakes by clicking the link below. You could be the next lucky winner to receive either a gift card or a complete mobile gaming setup during each live stream. So a lot of prizes to be won. You got to make sure you join in on those sweepstakes. I mean, it's free and you could definitely win some serious stuff. So that's everything I wanted to tell you guys, but let's head into the main part of the video. Some PUBG Mobile Arcane action coming right up. All right, guys, the Mirror World update is huge. We have a lot to cover, so let's just head straight into it. Number one, the very first thing you want to do if you want a high kill game is drop on the Nimbus Island. So there's going to be two Nimbus Islands at the start of each game. Make sure you drop on the one that's first on the plane path because that's where everyone else will drop. Now you want to jump at 600 meters because that's the fastest way to get to the Nimbus Island. And even if you die on Nimbus Island, you will just be kicked off the island and you can keep continuing to play the game to get those high kill counts. All right, now the second most important thing is figuring out how to stay alive on Nimbus Island and how to get the kills at the same time. The very first thing you want to know about the Nimbus Island itself is the guns. There's a lot of DP-28s and there are w other weapons, but if you end up fighting an enemy with a DP-28, you just want to make sure you take a close range fight with them because the DP-28 is really weak. You see I do that here and I barely come out on top. And then also there's no extended mags and no scopes except for in the very middle of the map. So you want to clear out the edges of the map before you wake your way, make your way into the middle where you'll find the better loot, the scopes and the extended mag potentially. And you don't want to go too early or you will get shot in the back or from different angles. Now, right after you finish clearing out Nimbus Island, you just jump off the island and a parachute will, will open for you and the very first thing you should do when that parachute opens is to look for a vehicle because you have more kills that you want to get and the next target well i'll let you know where the next target is all right as soon as you jump off nimbus island or you're defeated off nimbus island look for that car and open up your mini map you're gonna want to look for these cap icons on the mini map because there's going to be players there that are trying to farm hex shards now these hex shards you can open up a shop and you can order level 3 armor you can order scopes you can order grenades so these hex shards are very important and at these hex shards you'll want to defeat these uh npcs called enforcers and firelights so once you defeat them they'll drop crystals and there's also going to be crates there with crystals and most importantly like i said You'll meet other players there so you can rank up the more of those kill points. Okay, so once you clear the camp, you should have enough hex shards around 30 or so to get yourself a level 3 vest if you don't already have one. Or you could get a level 3 helmet or spend it on other items on the shop to help you get more kills. So the next thing you want to note is the timer underneath your mini map around this time is when your timer should be hitting close to zero once it does hit to zero it will change back into seven minutes and that's how long the two other islands will stay open there's two other floating islands one of them has better rewards than the other and most likely to have more players there because of that reason so the island you want to go for is the island that looks like a blue 
balloon on your mini map if you open the mini map you can see there's two different blue islands you want to look for the one that has a blue balloon icon now once you go up there it's a little bit different than nimbus island you're going to actually transform into one of four arcane characters each arcane character has different abilities and different special skills and i won't be going over the skills in this video because it actually does get quite in depth and the battles up there can get quite strategic but while you're on the way to that island you gotta watch out for other players also heading that direction you can see here i did end up running into a couple enemies so i mean this is just more kills to be had before you get up there but once again if you die at the bottom or on the main erangel island your game will be over and will be finished so you got to be careful now once you go up to the blue island the kills up there will count, and if you get defeated, you will just fly back down to the main island. Now, unfortunately for me, there was only one other player up there, and I did manage to get the kill, but I did almost get defeated as well. But even if I was defeated, the game wouldn't have been over for me. Now, this island, like I said, is only up for seven minutes. Once that seven minute timer is up, you'll see you just get kicked off the island and you're forced to parachute back down. Now, at this point in the game of Mirror World, there's pretty much nothing else special left to do other than just finish the rest of the game. Of course, you still have those hex crystals that you've been, you know, just saving up that you've been obtaining on the islands or the floating islands and that you also be, are able to pick up from players. So those hex crystals are super important. You can restock your ammo, restock your armor. Most importantly, you can buy those shields that you could drop down those deployable shields that you could drop down at any time that will really help you with securing the win All right, and fast forward, I'm sitting at 26 kills right now. Absolutely insane, and I make the biggest mistake of all. I left my butt sticking out too much, and I get armed twice, and I lose my chance at the chicken dinner. But 26 kills, still pretty good. Definitely looking forward to trying to get that chicken dinner next time. Oh, I can't believe I didn't get that chicken dinner, but I'm looking to get the chicken dinner elsewhere. That's right. Remember to tune into the Mirror World Assault Livestream events because I'm going to be playing in those in case you forgot. And I'm definitely going to try and get the chicken dinner there. You can watch it on the official PUBG Mobile YouTube channels at 6.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time. Remember, the link to all the stream events is in the description below. And before I go, I want to give a huge shout out to PUBG Mobile and thank them for sponsoring today's video.